Hello, people of God. It's Pastor Stephen at St. Paul's United Church of Christ. And that's Michelle Ross. She's uh, working in her garden plot that's right behind or yeah, behind the church or outside my office. And uh, it is corn vlog, let's see, 38. And it is Saturday, May 2nd. And uh, it's a beautiful day. And on my way in, I saw Hap and Heidi Pennypacker working in their garden plot that's out in the front parking lot. And I just asked Michelle if she knew much about this. You just volunteered when somebody asked someone to take right. care of this plot. Well, it has been handled by several people in the 11 years that I've been here, including the Girl Scouts. And they did a great job. They put all these herbs in, but it wasn't, it didn't really work well for them to come and maintain it. And so it just, kind of grew into weeds and we've, we've it's turned hands several times and it finally was Jordan Elser doing it as part of his Eagle Scout project if I remember correctly we're gonna talk about Jordan but one of the things he did it would get washed out all the time so he put in these stones and I remember at one point after he had shaped it up it still got washed out it was very um, frustrating and he and his family were here um, working on it um, and then he's gone off to college so they needed someone else and Michelle volunteered and she's doing a great job over here and uh, so has it been just one year that you've been doing it uh, yeah okay and that's how it works somebody has to hand one over and somebody's available someone volunteers and so we have I think we have about a dozen different garden plots some people have kept theirs for a dozen years and some people are you know there's always some turnover I think I remember maybe they did over here I remember uh, was Betty doing it I can't remember anyway um, so I wanted to to show Michelle working here and also you were on our first virtual Bible study last night right yes and uh, there was something kind of interesting we had about 10 people including some people that were doubled up with family members um, but what was your experience of that Bible study Michelle well I thoroughly enjoyed it um, I couldn't respond back because I'm, I'm technologically challenged too um, so we couldn't hear her but at one point she held up a sign so we knew that yeah. she could hear us yeah. Um, it was very good. Um, we talked about the 23rd Psalm, and um, as one of the other people had mentioned, it was the verse that you know, oh, we've heard over and over, but yes. we never really delved into it. A very yeah. familiar passage, but mm -hmm. yeah, I remember Linda saying, I never thought of it that way. So right. that was what we were supposed to do as right. we're looking at God's Word. Yes, it was very good. Yeah. It was nice to see people and chat a little bit. And, it really gave you something to think about. You know. Thanks for sharing that, Michelle. And we're hoping more people will get involved in online virtual Bible studies. And, uh, oh man, oh, there goes their bell. So maybe it's time. No, that will just, oh, it's 12 o'clock. So that is going to go for a long time. So let me finish with a prayer and a song and a scripture. The scripture will be in the service tomorrow. Let's pray for that scripture not for the script, for the worship service. It's from Acts 2, 42. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teachings, that's the Bible, to fellowship, we're doing that virtually, and to the breaking of bread, that's hard to do apart right now, and to prayer. And also, as we hear the bell, Jordan Elser is going to be ringing the bell seven, or maybe 20 times for 2020, at seven o'clock Sunday night, with bells across Pennsylvania. Oh Lord, we pray that as we ring bells and as we join in virtual worship, you will help us to be one. And you make all things beautiful, Lord, so we're gonna sing, or I'm gonna sing, I'm not expecting no, you. I'm in, in your, t <laughs> okay, now that's gonna usurp what I was gonna try to do. the song of wonderful something that will unclasp and set me free silently now we wait for thee ready my god thy will to see open
open my eyes, open my eyes, illumine.